Hey everybody, I'm Jared Byrne. I'm pastor at Taylor's Valley Baptist Church and I want to thank you for joining us for this Advent series as we've been going through every week a different theme uh, during Advent. Today we're going to talk about hope. I want you to know that hope uh, can be a very dangerous thing and the enemy knows this. Uh, hope is what makes Christmas so dangerous in many ways uh, because the enemy knows if you lose hope uh, then you give up. What we talk about all the time, all hope is lost. So what we mean by that is give up. It's pointless to keep going. It's pointless to keep trying because all hope is lost. The enemy knows this. And if the enemy can get you to lose hope, the enemy can get you to give up, uh, to stop trying, to quit, to go home and not keep pressing in. But you know, listen to something the Bible says. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 3, we remember before our God and Father your work produced by faith, your labor prompted by love, and your endurance inspired by hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. Hope gives us endurance. Hope is what helps us to press in, uh, to keep pushing on, and to not give up. A lot of times we need hope because things around us look uh, bleak. Uh, it looks uh, like things aren't going to work out. And certainly in the Bible, we see that with the Christmas story. Uh, he sends uh, Mary and Joseph to Bethlehem, uh, the small village, and uh, they don't have a lot. They don't really have anything to go on. The good news is announced to shepherds. But this is how God loves to work. He loves to take bleak situations and make something incredible out of them. And so this Christmas season, I hope you'll remember the Christmas story, uh, that God loves to work in difficult situations. You might be going through uh, struggles right now. You might be dealing with addiction. You might be dealing with fear. You might be dealing with economic problems, financial difficulties. But I want you to know that God can work in those cir circumstances and He can change your life. But we have to keep having hope in the Lord. And when we have hope, we become dangerous. God works through us in our weakness and He can change the world through us. So. Hope you have a Merry Christmas, and I hope uh, during this time you have hope in the Lord and you see what God can do through you. God bless you. Hope to see you on a Sunday. Uh, we have services 9.30 and 11 every Sunday, and so hope to see you soon. God bless you. Merry Christmas.